I'm not going to tell you what WAP stands for, I think, for, for all of our safety. Wireless application protocol, that's what I thought. <laughs> but there we go. Matt, have you seen my phone anywhere? Hello, I'm Anya Magliano and I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm here today because my phone is going to be um, examined by my stepdad. I'm petrified, but at the same time really kind of curious about what we're going to find out today. We're going to have a little interrogation of this device, which is Anya's mobile phone. He's a very chilled out guy. I think he's a very calming presence on our house. Our house is um, full of, of women. That's me, my mum, two female dogs. There was a female cat at one point. There were like various female goldfish as well. So he's like the central male point of the household. If she's got anything, any similar interest to me, you know, kind of wine or, or barbecuing meat or sport, I don't think we're going to find any of that, to be honest. I don't know what we're going to find. I actually, I actually don't think I know what's on my phone at all. <laughs> all right, here you go. Thank you very much. I don't think it recognises me because I've got makeup on for the first time in about four years. <laughs> So we've got 14900 text messages, pr probably 148 of mine. <laughs> uh, there's two calendar invites. I'm a busy girl. Something on CoStar. There's a lot of stuff I don't really recognise, to be quite honest. Incredibly low font to your phone, isn't it? Matt has his phone in big font. We get to that age. <laughs> I'm never going to get to that age. OK, so there's a group here, Anya, called You're Annoying. Mm. Uh, Chloe Petz created this group called You're Annoying. She added you and then she left. <laughs> it's a very effective way of getting me to shut up. So, hashtag be kind Harry. So you say to the, the be kind Harry group, I've just been looking into hair extensions, but it's too short. What's too short? My hair. Oh, okay. This was after I got a really bad haircut. Oh, I see, right. And that's how upset you were. She, said, she says, what about hats? Oh, I see. Are you a hat girl? Oh, okay, and then you just, because you've had a short haircut, you consider taking your life. As, uh... <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> it was like above my ears. I, th I seem to remember, yeah. Yeah, 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 it I was told so you it was, bad. I told you it was a uh, nice haircut. I'm sure you did, yeah. after I prodded you. And then Harry agrees. He says it's the, definitely the best option. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emily says, you can't die with this haircut and then your ghost is fucked too. Oh, wow. So they're being, they're really bullying me yeah, in that situation. So. I've, they're kicking me whilst I'm down. Do you know what the hairdresser said to me after he finished cutting? He went, this will look really good in three months. I'm quite interested to have a look at the photos. Is that, is that good? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God, what's going on here, then? That's the bad haircut. Look at how bad it looks. That's insane. Oh. That's it growing. Oh, wow. He's got life, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I went to like a specialist curly hairdresser for the first time and he committed a crime on my head. <laughs> so I don't trust it. I think I've seen him on Crime Watch. <laughs> if there's anything that I want to come out of this experience is that he gets arrested. What's his name? I probably shouldn't give away the actual okay. name for slander, but if anyone wants the name, come to me directly. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got here? Oh, it looks like a video, oh, aren't you? Oh god, I have no idea what this is. Are you ready for it? Should we hit the yeah, let's, magic let's... play button? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is cat abuse. What is going on? Oh god, that does look like I nearly dropped it. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, do you, do you know the song WAP? Uh, is it in Hamilton? <laughs> no, the song WAP by Megan The Stallion. It's like a rap song. Okay, no, no, I don't. There's a dance that goes to it, which I thought you could do to that musical song, but it's very explicit and I'm not going to go into, the, I'm not going to tell you what WAP stands for, I think for, for all of our safety. Wireless application protocol, that's what I thought. <laughs> but there we go. That's me on the toilet. <laughs> Oh, wow. Every day before my show, I would go to the toilet. Okay. Is that your routine? 
yeah, I did 10 minutes of meditation. I'm glad in you said meditation. Well, and also okay. some other business. What's this? What's going on? So this is like one of the astrology apps I have. And then if you go down, oh, it's added new features. That's exciting. Okay, that's my, you can read that. That's my horoscope. Oh, are you acting like it's all a joke? Pay attention. Whatever you do, try not to deflect deeper conversations. God, that feels like it's about this. Try not to deflect deeper conversations. Let's move on. Let's just remind ourselves of your star sign then. Aquarius. Okay. And well, you're an Aries. I'm Taurus, but... No, you're not. Are you actually? <laughs> yes. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk to someone who's an expert later. 20... I am an expert. April the 23rd. Doesn't matter. It does matter. I, I don't know. Oh my God, it is. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> I thought the whole reason we got on was because you were an Aries. Yeah. And my mum's a Virgo. What is I'm that? I'm surrounded by freaks. <laughs> Somebody tipped me off that maybe we should have a little look at Hinge, is it? Yeah. Have you ever had a Hinge account? Um, the answer to that probably should be no, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to mum watching this. This is quite, this is quite stressful. There's something here that says boost, so if we hit- Don't boost it. Okay, no. There's a little voice now there, should we play that or you not? You can, yeah, we can play that. Would you rather um, think everyone in the world thinks that you've had sex um, with a horse, but you haven't, um, or um, have a million pounds? <laughs> it's a tough choice, isn't it? Yeah, so I put that in there because I think it's really funny to do like a would you rather where it's like just really not a hard choice at all. But loads of people didn't get the joke and people would just reply being like, obviously the million pounds. And I'd be like, I'm never going on a date with you. So how does this thing work then? You just, uh, you said like a 10 mile radius and <laughs> what you're seeking out? A bit lower than that. I'm oh, not okay. that desperate. Well, my friends have got bigger radiuses than that, let me tell you. So. <laughs> Four what, countries what wide. What does it say about them? <laughs> it says I'm vaccinated. Oh, you're vaccinated, good. Sometimes you smoke. You need to do that more often, my love. <laughs> Come on. All in all. all right. No, don't look at the drugs bit. <laughs> oh, okay. No, if we heart someone, they are going to know, but my relationship will fall apart. Okay. What do you, what do you value more, hearting someone or the well, current relationship? I'm obviously my relationship. Okay, let's not heart anyone then. Let's not rock the boat. So now we've got Sound Carla. Like paid. Yes. Oh, you just straight away crossed her. Sasha. Stop crossing all these lovely girls. Oh, does it come up as a cross on there? No, they won't okay. know, but I just think you're being too harsh. She's tw oh. 27, five foot nine, lives in Lewisham. Too far for you, I think. Too far for me. You know and I'm in a relationship. Do you know where Lewisham is? Yes, I know where Lewisham is. Okay. South. Cross straight away. You've got high, um, You've turnover. got high, sta high yeah. turnover, yeah. yeah. Weirdly attracted to celebrity chef Rick Stein. Okay. You like Rick Stein? Yeah, everyone likes Rick, don't they? Um, so this is you on the right-hand side. Ha, your prompt about astrology is basically like that. a line I have in my stand-up. Dropping in that I do stand-up straight away. Harry says, I'm claiming copyright. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. I do not fall into your desired star signs, though, just in case you were wondering. This is so embarrassing. When was this? Thir this is New Year's Eve. What are you doing, New Year's <laughs> Eve? Not talking to this guy. I was lonely. Okay. New Year's Eve, you're lonely. You're vulnerable. You want someone... We don't all have wives. <laughs> nah, it's all bullshit anyway. Probably. That's about star signs. Okay. That's not what I believe. But I was trying to be cool. What would be your approach on Hinge? Yeah. If you like claret and a ribeye, call me. <laughs> is that red wine and steak? Yeah. That is sim yeah, that is what they would get with you. And my mum loves it. What about your search history? I'm interested to see what- Yeah, okay, fine. What gems we've got in there. It would be pretty profound stuff, I think. Okay, I'm sure it is, yeah. So you've searched for how to clean a nonstick pan with burnt. Yeah, it had burnt in it. Oh, just general burnt. I don't, I don't know what it was from. Are your 20s really the best years of your life? Are you having some doubt? What about... Yeah, this can't be it. <laughs> I'm afraid it is. You've got to just... 
<laughs> get on with it. A few more searches here, oh. Anya. 17 signs you found the love of your life. This is so embarrassing. What, did you remember any of those 17 signs? I think it was all like, you feel comfortable around them, you think they're nice, that sort of vibe. Have you burped in front of your current partner? No, that's still to come. Okay, this You've got to keep some things till the golden years. You've got to hold years. them back, yeah, yeah, exactly. How to tell if someone is, is the love of your life, this is a bit of a theme running here. Yeah, and then... Oh, cat worming tablets. Did you, were you successful? I had a busy day, clearly. Yeah. Matt, what is the sign that you've met the love of your life? Um, I think, yeah, it's, it's generally be, being comfortable, very happy, content. So you don't need Google, are I know, I should have just asked Matt. So, uh, how does that feel to be back that in your position? That feels good, I'm okay. snatching it back. Cool, I feel... That was actually more stressful than I expected it to be. I feel relieved of responsibility. I don't think I'm going to be showing my phone to many more people. I found it, like, my shoulders are really tense. I think I'm going to need a full body massage to, to relieve this past hour. <laughs>